It's Madden NFL 24, and we'll see who rules the skies in tonight's battle. It's the Cardinals and the Hawks, and it comes your way next. Well, the city of Seattle known for coffee, grunge music, and of course, rain. And we're definitely going to get a heavy dose of the last of those three here tonight as you look inside a wet and wild Ruben field. Today we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game, so how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play, and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. the kicker Jason Myers to get this one started and off we go from Seattle and up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25 the Cardinals now getting set to go offensively and it'll be the dual threat quarterback Kyler Murray leading the way drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. First play and a first pass for Murray. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Here's Murray. And his throw here is incomplete. That no man that time, man. They're putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, Parker? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Murray now to throw. Screen pass to Connor. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. It's a gain of six, but not enough as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. As I remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia, he was coming off a of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing now is Geno. The throw here right sideline far is incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. That'll bring up second down.
The first look here for DJ Dallas. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Gino. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. One well, of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Geno out a throw. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. First carry here for Ken Walker. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it, and it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. From the gun, here's Smith. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. On fourth down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. Greg George, deep for Arizona. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out of a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that, that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. First carry for James Conner. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. So here's a third and 14. Murray going to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And it will be first to 10 as they take over.
Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Walker to start the drive, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 43, here's second and six. Play action. It's Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And it gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 14 yards that time for number 14. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. On first down, Smith has it complete to Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Off of play action, here's Smith. Throw out wide to Walker, and he gets it down to the 32. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Walker now on first and 10. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 23. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. To throw is Smith. Second back right around the 30. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up fourth. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Myers' kick is good. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. try now he's on to kick it away and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured cardinal on the field the medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. 
They begin on the ground here with Connor, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, Murray forced out to his left. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest game. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. On third and short, they'll try option left. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this, I'll take it, I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. On first and ten is counter. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Play action. Now it's Murray. That second down play nets a minus four. offense on third down today just one for three thus far this will be third and six here's Murray as he sets to throw it oh he had him he was open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete well based on what we've seen so far I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore partner because this group we're watching they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running that zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Down the numbers. There he goes. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. All told, it's a punt return of 74 yards. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Jason Myers now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So his big play capability in full display there as he's able to return that punt for a touchdown. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. It hasn't gone particularly well for them, that's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, 
finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Now Murray throwing on second down. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball rest, and they have to officiate block and charge. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second down and four. They'll toss this out right for Connor. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Play fake, Murray. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Murray now running right on the option. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Big Leonard Williams, the one who came in and got it. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion. And I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. Now a toss. This is Connor. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage. But not much more than that. He couldn't get the edge there. It wasn't sealed, so maybe not all on the guy running the football all the time on those tosses and the pitches that go to the outside. No, not at all. I would agree with that totally because sometimes the defensive guys, they win the edge battle. And when they do that, there's no place for the running back to go, and especially for offensive linemen trying to get out ahead. With their footwork and speed, is negligible on that play. No gain at all for the offense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Prater's kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Thank you. 
Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, Touchdowns. And this will be a Seahawks first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run again with Walker. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and seven. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 45-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Press coverage on the outside. And for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Throwing is Smith. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. He'll look to throw. Now this is a quick slant to lock it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 28. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Now a second and ten. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And the Cards are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Okay, partner, no surprise to you. I'm going to look at this from the defensive perspective. In the rain, you have to be more cautious trying to cover passing routes. Why? The offense knows where they're going with the football. The receiver knows the route he's going to run. You have to make sure you keep your footing underneath you. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. 
they'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. The drive will start with Connor. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Our score, 10-3 to with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Second and nine. Murray now. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete to McBride. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Cardinals got to go quickly, hustling to the line. Now Murray. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Throwing again, Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. First down, Murray. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. to throw it's Murray looking left side and he's got a man that's Connor and he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line and they get 16 out of that one but they'll still need to convert on third that's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down didn't quite get it to the marker but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive coordinator you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long and he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll fake it to counter. Now Murray. That is incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Second and ten. Here's Murray. To the sideline and incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone. It's like a momentary roadblock for that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. 
This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it third and ten. To throw is Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Eight yards on the screen there, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he gets the first down. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and that'll bring him back within four. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Seahawks kick over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we are at halftime here in downtown Seattle with the Seahawks out in front. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village studios in the EA Sports halftime report. Okay, we were certainly Coach, treated to an entertaining always. first this half. One's still Both these teams are high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. Three. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Seahawks offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. On first and 10, Smith throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Throwing now is Gino. A quick throw there is incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Geno out to throw. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. 
That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Now here's Michael Dixon as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Cards will take over first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Throwing now is Murray. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Draymond Jones credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Murray going to throw. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get, and the more calm and controlled you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against him. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. From the gun on third down, Murray. down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That's a good effort there trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. They're going to run. Here's Connor. He stiff arms him. Sheds off the tackle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13. And the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. That was fourth in what we would call long in that situation, wasn't it? That wasn't fourth and inches, was it? No, I mean, you get in those situations, fourth and three, fourth and four, that's that's a lot to, what, what would you say, a lot of pizza left in that box. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> Not everyone dove in on that one. In today's NFL, this is a passing down. This is not a running down. That takes a lot of guts to call that play and even better execution. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And they run the option on second down. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray keeping it himself from eight yards out. And the Cards have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range 
but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. On the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Sticking with Walker on second down. 42 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. And that's a nice pickup of the first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plant any down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Smith now to throw. And yeah, that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. You know they wanted, you know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know, maybe there's something to that. It must have been a heck of a halftime speech. They have maybe just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. On second down, it's Walker. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and they will take over first and 10. The football going back over to Arizona now. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Now Murray, he bootlegs it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Ochin and Nwosu able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. This is a little hard for me to compute because a bunch of sack after sack happened, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. 
Now that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Looking to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And it's fielded at the 34. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here come the Seahawks now set to take over on offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Now Gino. Noah Fenn with a catch. Shot across the route. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. It's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. On first down, Smith. He'll find Metcalf. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. At that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing again is Smith. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It's Zayvon Collins who got in there to get the sack. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. To throw is Smith. And his throw is incomplete. Hey, he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. From the red zone now, Smith. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. We sit in quarter number three out in Seattle. A second and ten now. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. 
Back to throw, Smith. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown! Noah Fant, 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks have retaken a third-quarter lead. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Now Myers for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. to boot it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So out now come the Cardinals. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Murray again, this is counter. Stays on his feet, and he'll get up near the 45. He'll spot it at the 44. Four yards the pickup, first down. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Murray's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Now a handoff coming left, Connor. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no game. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. It's another one that keeps them moving forward. Here's Murray. And a throw there going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So here comes the veteran Matt Prater in a big spot in this ballgame. 
from the left hash. This from 53 yards out. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that'll bring him back within a point. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles. If their defense hadn't been able to hold them to a field goal on the other side, they'd be down. But now it's about preserving that very small lead. It is preserving and maybe stretching it out a little bit. Because if you're a starter on that side of the ball, I certainly hope you didn't loosen up your shoulder pads or start to cut the tape off. Because if you did, you did it way too soon. They've got to go back out there with renewed vigor, for lack of a better term, and also a good plan. They need points, and they need them now. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. So I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The offense on third down tonight, three for seven so far in this game. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. They'll run on first down with Dallas. Into about the 40-yard line. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. They'll try the air now with Smith. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have any options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Smith. And that is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. On the return, Dorch. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 27. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. 
Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. They're only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. That's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in the cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Here's third and six. Now Murray. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Connor up the middle. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. 81 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, Barton, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. A give running right is counter. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 36. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Third and two, and here's Murray. And this is caught. He hits Murray. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Murray to Moore for the Cardinal first. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. First down, Murray. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Oh, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Here's Murray. And here he'll get it down to the seven. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Second and six coming up. To throw, it's Murray. with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals have taken a fourth quarter lead. If you're going to play quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision, and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. Both of those traits are on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. It appears they're going to throw for it with Murray. And this one's caught. 
And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they go with a pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So Gino and the Seahawks down 24-17. 2.15 remaining. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. First and ten, Smith. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. Another try, second and ten now. Now Smith. Left side complete to Lockett. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And Smith's throw into the hands of Fan. I like what they did there, still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. They'll come up now on second down. Smith to throw. That's complete to his running back, Dallas. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. As the game of four brings up third and one. Well, the elements, the crowd, the situation. This is NFL football at its best. Here's third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it, because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Desperation time for Smith on fourth down, and it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining that the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. We got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. 
As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll try and run for it with counter. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. And just nowhere to go for Connor. Defense gets to him and they mark him short. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it with Connor. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call. And the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Smith. And incomplete on the deep ball. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Smith's going to throw it. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Smith. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They snap it to Smith. That is caught. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Oh, what a time for the defense to go missing in action. How do you allow them play like that on fourth down? That lets them right back into the ball game. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Now it's Smith. Catch is made by Metcalf. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. The two big plays, one after the other. Now all of a sudden, they're on the march. Got to feel good about what they've just gotten done. And now feel really good about what's in front of them. This is first and ten. Now Smith. And that one drops to the ground, incomplete. Clock stops here, just inside of 20 seconds, 19 left. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. throw on second down and this one incomplete as well. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his home. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. 
all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Smith now to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. And now that brings up fourth down there. A loss of six yards on the sack. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it, they had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter. But a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right, that reserve tank. They hauled it out. Offense scored some points. Defense held them. And lo and behold, they walk away with a win. Maybe expend a little more energy than they expected to, but they'll take it. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Seattle.